The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. It's episode 711. Let's get right to it. Uh, I am your host, Slade Ham, as always. What is missing is literally everybody else. I've got, right. I've got Trey Tutson next to me. I don't have Rob. I don't have Sam. I don't have Dale. Uh, I do have Grady, and I've got Drew back. Um, That's right. Drew, fat faggot hallway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says on my business cards. <laughs> uh, every now and again, One of the best stage names in the business. That <laughs> <laughs> faggot, Fat faggot the hallway. <laughs> it is. Uh, well, wait, what was that stage name you used to go up by for a little oh, bit? Oh, Larry Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, that was Larry Faggot, the New Yorker cartoonist. <laughs> I would go up and I'd read off cartoons that I'd written on napkins and be like, is this good? Should I sell this? <laughs> How many hosts uncomfortably? Uh, Adam Radliff was the only person uncomfortable because he's a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Everybody else was like, Larry Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, he did the Carson. <laughs> Larry, Larry Faggot, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> but I used to go up as Lawrence Faggot, and I, my hack thing was like, oh, don't call me Lawrence. That's my, my dad's name is Lawrence. Call me Larry Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, uh, it is not often that I get three uh, guests on the show that are all young Houston comics. So uh, I, I don't know. What the fuck did you write on your arm? I believe the children I, I, are our future. That was the question I was literally about to ask next. Uh, uh, good, good thing for a visual medium like podcasting is. You, you, but I'm, I'm good at this. No, you have no. you have the words, I believe, and then it looks oh, yeah. like... Rose I, came up and wrote, I, I believe can in, fly you in you on my oh arm. My God. Oh, see, this is the part of the Houston scene that I don't <laughs> understand. What, this being is being supportive and yes, not a cunt? I don't understand any of that. Like, there is no it's part cool. of... Uh, if, if the old school loud, if anybody was like, you can do it, would be like, well, what are you up to? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> there, what do you want? I still well, don't like, trust her entirely. I, I, I don't take it right. Like, if someone came up to me and was like, hey, man, I believe in you. I'm like, hey, man, what the fuck's your problem? problem? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> <Where's> your car? <laughs> now I'm questioning myself. I was... I had this under lock. Why are you saying that? <laughs> you don't do that to good people. You do that to people you don't believe yeah, in. You do that to... Ret- Hearted people. That's when you do that at the Special Olympics. You can do it, buddy. And then you fuck it. It's always followed by buddy, and then you just leave. And That's then you not. You watch them run through nine hurdles. <laughs> right. <laughs> And still get a ribbon. <laughs> they just they run the hurdles like that tank in Tiananmen Square. <laughs> he don't understand. That last hurdle had his hands up. <laughs> he, don't, he don't understand how hurdles were. He's going under them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't break like ribbons. <laughs> He's limboing the hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> That's who you believe in. Who <laughs> believes in you, Fallout Boy? You got <laughs> oh, shit, your emotions great. written on your arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking, he's crawling Rambo style in a fucking hurdle. Like it's a Tough mutter competition. He's signaling other retarded kids. This way, quick. We pretend it's barbed wire. <laughs> he fucking killed me. God damn. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. God damn. Three minutes in, guys, and I'm out of breath already. You got to see him on the pole vault. <laughs> Yeah. I <laughs> use it as a joplin. <laughs> yeah, he's thrown in a contestant. It's the wrong <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't! <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just a blind girl. <laughs> she brought her dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> I Uh-oh. believe. Do you think you? one year they did try to have like the pole vote for the Special Olympics, and then uh, they're it like, went terrible. Absolutely. and then everyone got sued. Was there, <laughs> <laughs> was, there was there a, was there a board meeting where they all were discussing? All right, yeah. the first it's the inaugural. It's the inaugural year, guys. Uh, so what do you think? 
Uh, I, we're we're gonna, we're gonna put we're gonna put running in a straight line on there. Uh, yeah. we're, we're definitely that's gonna be that's gonna be the main event. Uh, what what else? <laughs> the you, whole fucking what shit else? is just no, getting stop stop it all came down to the que- it came down to the question. <laughs> what else do you think we can get by with? Now, yeah. Jared, <laughs> now, Jared, I like what your head's at, but I think we should get rid of the spastic javelin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not really it's an event. Work. We just gave it to him to hold, and it looks weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, man! I, 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 I like shit. this is Norm Macdonald's joke. He's like, I really think they should get uh, rid of boxing. <laughs> 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 I think that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Taekwondo instead offensive. of the long jump, it's just the try your best jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the ah, yeah. jump. Ah, you did it. <laughs> Just oh. jump. If you if you jump, you get to build a sand castle at the end. Yay! <laughs> sand castle! <laughs> Dude, I am Sparta! You know, that's what they do, bro. They just they yell out every event that they're in. It's getting ready for the 100 meter dash. Yay! 100 meter dash! They just yell out. God damn, they're going to say it. They're excited. Over the they're excited, oh. Trey. <laughs> They're know. excited. That's ridiculous. I, I like watching the synchronized drowning at the same time. Jesus. Or, or, or as they call it, the, the, the 40 yard oops. <laughs> The, oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they go for the high dive. He jumps off the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the breast flop. <laughs> Dude, those are the oh most unathletic God. humans ever. Oh, well, he had beautiful form on injury, but he is oh, not getting shit. out of the pool. <laughs> it's going to have to be a six for me. <laughs> High oh, five! Shit. You can do it, buddy. The only thing that'd be awesome is is uh, Special Olympics wrestling. That would be fucking fantastic because of the oh, strength that they have. Yeah, but if they're both super strong... Then it cancels That's an it even out. Match. It cancels it out. So it's like watching yeah, two regular yeah, people. You wouldn't be able to oh, see like how yeah. strong they yeah. are. You want to see like That's one of them versus like thirteen of us. Just rip his dick off. That what that yeah. I would. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh fuck! Oh fuck! Jeffrey Strong. Yeah. <laughs> he ripped the balls off too. You can't do that. He said I could do it. He said, <laughs> <laughs> no, I said you could do it, buddy. Not you could. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! What are you retarded? <laughs> ah! I feel like that's what we should do with terrorists. Give them like a mongoloid hand job to like get like oh, information shit. out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Guantanamo Bay. Just yeah. Oh shit! I can't. <laughs> How do yeah. you know they didn't get there? Fuck, yeah. dude. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. We know about waterboarding. You know, yeah. We know about we know about the the simple oh, shit. shit man. How yeah. do you not? How do you you know? It helps out the country, and then um, you know they, they they get a job. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so win for everyone. Making America great God. again. Yeah. Uh, well, this episode proudly Trump's brought second to you. Term. That's he's bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> if elected for a second term, <laughs> I will get the mentally handicapped working again. <laughs> By giving out hand jobs to terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Wait, no. Don't cut off my mic. Make <laughs> again. It sounds like a genuine charity. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah I ain't gonna lie. It's very hard. Dude, nothing's gonna make somebody want to blow up shit more than somebody ripping their dick off. That is the angriest fucking person. But they it, took my dick. No. But he's gonna rip your dick off like with a smile because he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing my job. He doesn't know it's bad. <laughs> Another happy customer. Seven dollars an hour. He can't even bite it off properly because the massive underbite. She's <laughs> <laughs> gonna come off with a slant. <laughs> oh God! Oh. <laughs> Rip the duck off like meat off ribs. Oh, you gotta call in a professional to finish it, like you tried to trim oh, the tree shit. yourself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking limb landed on your house. So I started here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see what I screwed up uh, at? I'll bite the dick off. Get out of the way, Peter. <laughs> oh God! Ah, uh, uh, fuck. I don't know who to tell what you this episode is What was we starting off doing? 
I don't remember. Well, we were making fun of Drew's arm. Look how we got here. I believe in That's you. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, you just look so <laughs> wide and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Drew is just the worst. <laughs> Drew comes in, and the first thing he says is, uh, yeah, I'm 340s deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 340s deep. I've been, the, I've been at the warehouse for the past four hours getting <laughs> fucked up, waiting for the crowd that will never come. <laughs> yeah. At warehouse... Uh, at Scotty's, Scotty's warehouse. warehouse. That he lives at... Uh, Scotty geez. Peterson has a warehouse. Okay. That yeah, he yeah. lives and does shows out of. And then we thought it would be a cool idea to put a show there. So a place where no one goes already. Yeah. You thought. Like, we already can't get people to come to our show, Gay Shame Parade, every other Monday at Seeger Group at 7.30. <laughs> we already can't people get to come to that. So we're like, hey, what if we do it on a night where we don't normally have a show at a not an existing comedy club at a space with no signage or parking and see how that goes? <laughs> yeah. And fucking guess what? It waited an hour and no one fucking showed up. Damn. So I now thought the I'm gays here. were supportive. Oh, yeah. We were going to. They didn't know about it. Y'all are a deep yeah, we're flock. Gonna, yeah, we're fucking idiots. But th- but there's a gay bathhouse right next door. <laughs> An illegal gay bathhouse, so cut this out. Are there legal gay bathhouses? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, all right. Well, well you should have. <laughs> Grady's like, well, the one I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had a sign and everything. We didn't say where this warehouse <laughs> was. <laughs> as, long, as long as we don't tell them it's that a 2020 seven hours ago. <laughs> yeah. In Greece, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we raised a glass, uh, gentlemen. Uh, I don't to, wanna, the fags. To, to the fags. To the fags. Yeah. Um, we're drinking Slane uh, Irish whiskey, and uh, this is part of the birthday gift from the Jack Daniels family. Uh, but this is this is I don't know how much you guys know about whiskey, but uh, Slane Ham. Uh, no, I know, but I want to change one of these bottles desperately to my own name. Uh, this is it's aged in three different barrels, so they they do it in like the virgin casks, and then they do it in a, uh, a seasoned whiskey cask, and then they do it again oh, in a God. sherry cask, and that means nothing to you, young. No, Bob. Drew just looks fucked up. <laughs> like I'm not saying alcohol wise, <laughs> just life wise, like as a person. Just what Jesus, are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to read. Why are you rubbing the thing on the side of the thing? I'm trying to read the bottle, but I in can't. Braille. It's a fat, goofy fan. That's his <laughs> fucking problem. <laughs> Just confused with Cox. This is your fucking issue. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> well, uh, I will do my... At sh- least Artie Lang waited to get famous. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, we'll be right back on the Whiskey Brothers podcast. <laughs> Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first 400 episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. I'm going to watch you fuckers dance. Uh, welcome back to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. I am Slade Ham, along with Trey Sponsored Tunson. by the Special Olympics. Grady Pruitt, Drew Holloway. Uh, <laughs> we're reaching out. <laughs> no, the, Jesus, yeah. We didn't have we're reaching out, and they are just not able yeah. to grasp on. We didn't have... We're big fans, as you can Sponsors <laughs> before. Yeah. We're reaching out a big sausagey hand and yeah. hoping that they will grasp on. <laughs> yeah. I love their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are their eyes? Uh, I'm not even. They have the glassed eyes of a taxidermied owl. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) That's the most spot on description. God (laughs) damn. Everybody knows what that means. And Uh, nobody's seen a taxidermied owl. God (laughs) damn, it's so funny. (laughs) Drew, you're a funny kid, man. How old are you? 21. (laughs) Oh, you're a fucking child. Yeah, he's 21. You're a. Young yeah, gay he man. He's gonna be to get me here. Yeah, he's gonna be <laughs> dead at thirty three though. Oh, you're an optimist. <laughs> you're gonna go out Christ like. Uh, you think you're, you're an optimist? Thirty three. No. You lived an yeah. atheist, but you're gonna die no. Christ like. Oh, I'm gonna make it a twenty five max. Yeah, Janice yeah. Joplin's Your gonna. Your skin color him. is already corpse like. <laughs> <laughs> like. It's already very I, yeah, terrible. I, I sleep all day if I sleep at all. I went like. <laughs> I Jesus. slept last night, but the time before that, I didn't sleep since before I left for Austin. Well, that like clears it up to, for everybody. I went to Austin <laughs> on Wednesday, and I slept Sunday night. <laughs> so this is we're, we're recording this on a Monday. Yeah. So you, uh, drugs? Ugh. No. Dick. No drugs. I just have insomnia. But it's it, just like a genuine oh, fucking issue. Because he has to push down. <laughs> Being Trey, an orphan. Trey, it's it's. <laughs> That's what it is. He has Not, to push that down. Push what down? Being an orphan. It, the way he got fucking swindled into being gay, I mean, it's a whole thing. What? <laughs> he's, 
Where he's are the you? Wendell. Trey, listen, this he's is the Ohio of fags. Okay, he's a swing state. Hey, it could go either way. I don't know. But you, Trey, you you can't just you're giving a bad exposition. This is you. People don't know this. I don't know this. I don't know that you're a bad gay guy or that you're not a bad gay guy. Or whatever you I'm just, really good at being gay. He's <laughs> got it down, but he don't know for sure yet. I got this shit unlocked. Somebody bullied him into sucking a dick like behind uh, a dumpster or some shit. He was like, "All right, well, I'm is like this that true out. or is this Trey's story?" Oh. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. Okay, you just got bullied into sucking a dick. <laughs> yeah, and this guy dead? was like, "Hey, we'll suck my dick," and I sucked his dick. I was like, "This is dope." Yeah. No, that's I'm not gay. the same as uh, okay. Dad. I have something to tell you. It's like how it's like how your dad's like, "Hey, why don't you eat your spinach? Make sure hey, you don't like it." Right. It's like that, but for sucking cock. It, you so ever sucked a cock? No. no. How do you know you're straight? I because I I like fucking pussy. We don't like dick. Now tell a fucking yeah. I, I, I don't like that shit. That spectrum fucking <laughs> leaning shit. <laughs> we like pussy. <laughs> you tell him, Trey. Bitch. Uh, how is Trey my spokesperson? I don't like that argument. Is like if you haven't done it, then how? Then how do you right. know? What the fuck? I know what I like. You know you like shit in your ass, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that until I put shit in my ass. <sighs> Never mind. Great, you're right, and I, I and know Trey I, watched the whole gay porn. I mean, I feel like hey, you guys cool. have done due and diligence. My dick did not move at your, all, so you, I know I'm. You've done your due diligence, huh? dude. Diligence. I like how you were uh, trying to. Oh, thanks. Slide Nicely that done. in there. That's boy. You, you look, guys are you we, gay, like, we gays love to slide that in. You look like a horrible <laughs> doormat. You look fucking <laughs> terrible. They can't see what I look like, God, Trey. I know, but boy, it's fun to describe it. <laughs> oh, uh, true, you're just right. Picture a fat fucking who's fucking old boy from the Little Rascals, Alfalfa's buddy. Uh, spanky Spanky That's what you look like A dirty fat fucking Oh that's that Faggy Spanky There's this homeless guy Who comes by Seeker Group All the time He calls me Spanky Spanky Fag And now I understand What's happening And I gotta go Kick his ass next time I see him. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stop Letting that guy Have cigarettes I feel like if you Threw one punch You'd just pass out Oh god <laughs> <laughs> it would literally turn into glitter like yeah. mid swing. There's no. It would just. <laughs> it would oh, smoke. There would be a little puff of. Sp- uh, yeah. My hand would dissolve into sand like Spider Man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so have you? I'm I'm fascinated by this. So you weren't always gay. Eh, probably, but just I didn't. I didn't know about it. When he I, was straight, I, his girlfriend killed herself on Skype. Yeah. So, so that'll make you try dick. Yeah. <laughs> I've told this story on stage. Oh well, I uh, haven't heard it. Uh, oh. Surprise. <laughs> You don't have to. You know, I'm not asking you to run the bit. What? Oh yeah. No, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't no, I just used to have a high school girlfriend, and then she uh, shot herself in the head on a Skype call with me, and I was like, "Man, fuck this." And then, like uh, three days later, I tried dick for the first time, and I was like, "This is good." Oh, and since then, no dicks killed itself. Yeah, true. Well, Perfect. a few, but <laughs> yeah. So I cat <laughs> I catfished this guy into suicide this one time, and that was his own fault. <laughs> Oh man, that's a lot to unpack. I've yeah. told this story. <laughs> this sick I've told this story on stage before, <laughs> and yeah. then I stopped telling it because no one likes it. Because I seem like the bad guy, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> so you coached him into it? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I not. was. No, I was. I, this is, this I used is. to catfish this guy from North Dakota, and he and he thought I was a thirty-year-old woman from Florida because I uh, said I was, and yeah. he was like, yeah. "I've got a mommy fetish," and I was like, "Dope." Well, I'm old enough to be your mom, kind of, and he was like hey put this on my phone is this thing called our pact which is what uh people use it's what shitty parents use to control their kids phone time okay so like after an hour it like locks down all the apps you can only like call and like use the calculator and shit so he sent you this and so he put it on his phone and sent me the account so i could change all the settings and then i changed his password so he could never change it back and he got like really clingy so i just shut his phone down and then i forgot to turn it back on for like a week and then I turned it back on. I was like, hey, sorry. And I texted him. I was like, oh, oops, I fucked up. And I didn't hear from him for a month. So I just Googled his name and he killed himself. What the? <laughs> f- <laughs> Boy, that's a weak ass motherfucking person. <laughs> <laughs> you weak bitch ass dude. Just go get another phone. <laughs> <laughs> no phone for a week and you kill yourself? He was already on his way out. I don't think that. Yeah, that, that I, don't, I don't think that's why he killed that's, himself. That's He's not like, what's in the oh, obituary. I can't, um, you know, play Tiny Birds. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck they tiny wings. <laughs> the fuck am I gonna do with Clash of Clans? I haven't been active in four days. I yeah. gotta go ye- yeah. No, I think it's the fact that a nineteen year old kid was fucking leading him on for months ish. Why he killed this? Hey, out. at the time I was eighteen. Did he find that out though? Did he find out that you were a nineteen year old? No, he was dead. Okay, so yeah, so he never found out. Yeah. I'm sure. So he thought a 30 year old woman from Florida had been leading were him you, on. Were you? Hang on. So were you sending him pictures of? Uh, 
did, I mean, yeah, just chicks I found online. Was like, but was it always the same? Did you find? Uh, oh yeah, you found a. I'm chick. not a fucking idiot. You you yeah, find, this, no, you find not, one. I'm chick, not calling you a dumb fucking account, catfish, and then use yeah. that. Oh boy. And then you just so you, and you just fabricated a background, or did you use the oh, same yeah. girls? I used the same girls thing, but it was just like yeah, it was like oh, I'm a 30 year old mom from Florida. Uh, my kids just left for college. What were y'all talking about? Uh, how he wanted to fuck me when he moved to Florida. And you were just dirty once talking. Once he got back? out of his mom, when he once he left, once he graduated high school and left his mom's basement, he's gonna move to Florida. We can. This was a high school kid. Yeah. <laughs> you are a bitch ass nigga, bro. <laughs> bro. I don't want to fuck with you no more. <laughs> you are a sick, evil, white fucking orphan. <laughs> look, you fat faggot. I'm <laughs> fucking <laughs> mad at you right now. <laughs> you fucking. You look, made you Trey I don't feel. No, shut the fuck up. You fucking. <laughs> Ugly beard having ass <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I don't feel good about this, you but if I could do it all over again, I would. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, that is. The I just, wrong I answer. just wouldn't. I just this time when I did it again, I'd remember. I'd remember to that turn I the phone to back phone on. the turn to turn the phone back on, so I could continue catfishing him for pictures of his dick. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have you never been in love, Slade? Yeah, twice. Probably, All right. I've said it more than that. All right. And how many times have the people you loved led you to commit suicide? I'm not lying. Zero. I hope you there die you go. In 23. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> the fuck. I don't know how old you are. <laughs> I, 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 I. But I'm praying for like a thunderbolt of AIDS. I you? feel like I've, re- I've revealed this too early because we got to record a whole nother episode. I feel together like we just. After I, this. I feel like I want to go back to making fun of retarded people as a palate cleanser. Right. That's what yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have silly voices? <laughs> it's a so do you continue to cap No, I want to get to the bottom no, of it. No, I didn't continue to catfish him. He was dead. Not him. Not him. I know you're not still sitting. Wake up. You're not poking him. <laughs> it's are you are you still doing this with other people? Yeah. Yeah, on Tinder or Bumble or Grinder. Uh, I don't know what y'all. It's a great medium for catfishing. What is kick? I, I, I kick is kick. it seems fun. It oh, seems it's fun. Dude, what is like, kick? Because I only, so I only know kick based on the uh the ISIS members who send me Facebook messages <laughs> going, if you want to hang out somewhere, go to kick and then here's my kick, address. Kick used to be an anonymous messenger and then they started like people started killing themselves and sending child pornography so now they monitor it so, so it's not a social media platform no no no, no it's just it's like just whatsapp a, or it's, something. it's like a whatsapp but you don't need a credit you don't need a phone number or an email you can just sign the fuck up whatever and then and now they monitor it so all the fucking people that i catfish have moved oh i can't you didn't I, send that dude I, I that momo meme or some shit no this all was right. this was years before do you think y'all are ever like catfishing each other you know yeah, I mean? just two fucking twenty-one-year-old <laughs> dudes. Hey, yeah. shit. Best case scenario, he got tired and like his the character he was playing killed himself, and he got <laughs> tired of. May, that's the best case scenario. What, Man. Is uh, that an unrelated kid killed himself? <laughs> what's your generation? Because it's like generation. Uh, you I'm generation. I think I'm Generation X. And then I'm we're millennial. Yeah, I'm part of that. Yeah, I'm. I'm, and and you I'm are generation definitely generation bitch ass niggas. Like, that is definitely <laughs> your generation. Yeah, boy, <laughs> oh fucking boy! I guess I, like we're the generation separator between Y and Z is uh-huh. uh, like I don't remember nine eleven. Yeah, that's good. You remember nine eleven? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm alone. I in this vividly remember in it in more it's ways than one. Still <laughs> less dark than what you did to that dude. Yeah. Yeah. There. These well, I only 20- killed one guy. <laughs> I only killed one guy who was already on his way out. Very true. Yeah, they I, killed I, I, about a thousand. I, I, I want to defend Drew there. I don't I'm think not as he's <laughs> the reason why he killed him. <gasps> I'd also like to say I'm not as bad as 9 11. That's it. Yeah. I know you're fucked up. Like, but, um, but Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, yeah that's when start naming. <laughs> hey, look. Monsters. Yeah. Hey, what about Al Bundy? He killed women a lot. I just killed one dude. I usually <laughs> defend rapists, but if you get any allegations, you're I fucked. didn't rape I'm not anyone on yet. <laughs> It's, oh. it's coming. You know it's coming. You well, got, the night is still young. <laughs> He's going to hunt down. He's had 340s, Some man. Some 18-year-old fucking boy that's addicted to his phone. He's had 340s, and, and he's got a kick account, and he's got I Believe in You written on his arm. This true. shit is... <laughs> Every time I'm like, I don't think I'm going to fool this guy, I'll just look at my arm like, I got him. This <laughs> is... Are you... Are you uh, no, I got questions, man. Are you... you uh, for, okay. I got so many Drew questions. Are you... You're currently not in a relationship. Correct. Okay. That was the main one. Although, like, there are four <laughs> people who don't know about that. 
that, I'm oh. catfishing four people into thinking I'm, we're in a relationship. Ah, that was almost Hedberg level. Bro, we know <laughs> how Drew's going to die. He's going to get fucking murdered. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. Are that you catfish him. That, that's best case scenario. That's best case scenario. Wait, not alcohol? Dude, like, yeah. I want to get killed. I don't want to die medically. I want to be killed so it's like quick, but I also don't want to do it myself because I fucking will if I make it to 30. So I'm just hoping someone just gets me before then. You know, just Because then maybe there'll be like a true crime podcast about your death or something. Oh, like true. That. Then maybe I'll be good on a podcast for once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just rambling about the murders, yeah. you gotta know, do suicide by That's cock. Interesting. <laughs> hey, uh, so we're all the are all the dudes you're talking to right now like in the same demographic, or are you just split? nah? Some of them are chicks. Okay, yeah. But here's the thing: you catfish chicks as well, so then you get pictures of chicks, so you can catfish straight dudes. What? Damn, he's got a whole yeah. just fucking. Demonic you're looking system. at me like you've never catfished teenagers before. I should be clear. They're over 18. Yes. Uh, I. <laughs> You've never catfished furries before? I, I have. I have. I, <sighs> no! Because we are not bitch ass niggas. <laughs> we don't catfish. <laughs> we hunt, motherfucker. <laughs> We're not finna lie to no bitch about who I am. You want this goddamn chocolate dick or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's bitch nigga shit. Well, you, you gotta be out here in these streets, man. You've like, seen me. You're looking at me right now. You think I could pull like this? Gay dudes like you. You're chunky. You got fucking. I know they like that shit. They like that cushion when they're <laughs> pounding that fucking wrestling ass you got. <laughs> You don't just get to play. And you could get women too. Yeah, he yeah, could you get, get women. women. You're funny. You I'm sure I could, but I'd like to not. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I. I no, I'm sorry. No, I, my mouth starts to say things, and then I just go. <laughs> Let's have a real conversation. Bro, funniest time of my life with Grady. Mm -hmm. We're on the stairs at Ruds. <laughs> Grady just walks up to me. Oh, yeah. Bro. I got the greatest pussy I've ever got <laughs> in my entire life. That's a good story. That's a good story. Because the bitch lived afterwards. So and she was real. <laughs> yeah, she was oh, real. How many follow-ups questions you have for that shit? <laughs> yeah. She was a human being that lived. Uh, yeah. What happened? It was... It was I so, met. like, he caught me so off guard. I just listened to you. You know what it was? What's because this, like, ever? This is why I said it. It was the first time where I understood, like, you ever, like... When dudes lose their empire, yeah, for pussy, yeah. I, I never understood it <laughs> until then. You're like, oh, this is why they uh, they go crazy, uh, yeah, and shit like that. They get fed that, you yeah. know what I mean? And then <laughs> what what was so? I'm not asking for details, but like, was uh, it? Um. The, okay. Did she know tricks someone else didn't know? Did she, or is it just a, a, a connection? The best way I can describe it is, it's like my turn ons and her turn ons were just all match. So yep. it's just like the everything you went for. She's like, like just one, like yes, yeah. like this, right? and then you just go to the next, and it's just like, oh, it's all right there, you know? Yeah. And I, that had never happened before. Yeah. You know what you. I mean? Okay. Where it's just yeah. like 100% in sync <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. It, and you're just like, yeah, fuck. It you brought know? out like that, that. It got to the point like I came and did not stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just like, well, like I'm continuing. Well, you don't have to take the, ah, just give me a minute. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in again, but just, just let's smoke some pot. God let's, damn. Let's, yeah. <laughs> Versus, versus, God damn, that was three times, and I haven't even fucking. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Jesus, That's, it was, it was, it brought out like that that teenage feeling. Yeah, where like like if you haven't had sex yet, but your buddy has, <laughs> and, and he's telling you about it, yeah. and you're just leading in like, what? Well, go ahead, more detail. Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> I just was leading in the Grady's fucking story. <laughs> yeah. And then what? <laughs> and, and then I came back to Houston, bro. I mean, what do you? What else you want? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we got to get out of here. Uh, thank you to Slain for the whiskey. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed yourself at uh, the Old Humble Distilling Company party yesterday uh i am in colorado for the week but uh and we'll have some so we'll have some stuff to talk about there uh thank you to grady and drew for sitting in trey you know you're always a uh, family around here uh you this one of the rare episodes where you were the dumbest uh we <laughs> well, yeah, i didn't say it was, was you, all those retards i didn't say about. it was you drew <laughs> uh we'll see you guys on another episode very soon they don't want no problem nah
music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.